article number 36. It's given that a traffic police has installed OSPD violation detection system at various locations in the city, that is OSPD. And these cameras can capture a speeding vehicle from a distance of 300 meter and even function in the dark. Now, a camera is installed on a pole at a height of 5 meter and it detects a car traveling away from the pole at the speed of 20 meter per second at any instant x away from the base of the pole. The angle of illusion of the speed of the camera from the car is theta. And based on the above information, we have to express theta in terms of height of camera installed on the pole and x. Okay, let's say this is the pole and the height of the pole is 5 meter. And at any instant, it detects a car x meter away from the base of the pole. From the base of the pole, that is x meter away. So this is x meter away. Uh, the angle of elevation of the speed of camera from the car is theta. So this is theta. Okay, and we have to express theta in terms of height. So we can use the ratio tan theta is equal to y by x. And because we have to express theta, so theta is equal to tan inverse y by x. So second question is that we have to find d theta by dx that is rate of change of angle of elevation with respect to the distance it's moving away from the foot of the tower so let's replace the value of theta which is tan inverse 5 by x and differentiation of we know that differentiation of tan inverse x so what is the differentiation of tan inverse x it's 1 upon 1 plus x square so instead of x we have 5 by x so this is 1 upon 1 plus Five by x square into it has to be multiplied with the differentiation of 5 by x. Okay, so this is now 1 upon 1 plus 25 by x square into differentiation of 5 by x. 5 is pound. Differentiation of 1 by x is negative x raised power minus 2. So this is now minus 5x raised power minus 2. And okay, let's take x square LCM. So this x square plus 25. I, I can write x raised by minus 2 as x square. So this is x square plus 25 upon x square. This gets cancelled. So finally, we have d theta by dx is equal to minus 5 upon x square plus 25, which is the rate of change of angle of elevation with respect to x which is minus 5 upon x squared plus 25. Okay moving on to third part we have to find the rate of change of angle of elevation so for the third part we have to find the rate of change of angle of elevation with respect to time. Okay now I can write this as d let me be uh, differentiate theta with respect to x and then t with respect to x. So this is dt by dx. So d theta by dx divided by dt by dx will give me, give me d theta by dt and this can be written as d theta by dx into dx by dt. Now this is the rate of change of distance with time which is speed. And we have to find this when the car is 50 meter away from the pool. So d theta by dx, we have already got that is minus 5. So this is minus 5 upon x squared plus 25 into dx by dt. Okay, the speed of the car is 20 meter per second. So let's write it as 20 because it's also given. Okay, it's 20 meter per second. But we have to find this when x, we have to find this when x is equal to 50. So we have to find this when x is equal to 50, find this when x is equal to 50. So we are going to replace the value of x here. 
So minus 5 upon minus 50 square plus 25 into 2. And this has to be value driven x is equal to 50. So this is equal to minus 5 minus 50 square is 2500 plus 25 into 20. Okay. So this is equal to negative 100 on 25, 25, which gets cancelled with 25. So this is 25 on the 25 and 4. So this is minus 4 upon 101 and it's radian per second. So minus 4 upon 101 radian per second is the answer for this. Okay, moving on to the part B of the same uh, third one. If the rate of change of angle of elevation with respect to time of another car at a distance 50 meter from the base of this, we have to find the speed of the car. So this part B, we are given that it's d theta by dx is equal to v by 101 radian per second. Now the rate of change of angle of elevation with respect to time is given. So this is dt. Okay, now d theta by dt, so this is d theta by dx. And dt Okay, and I can write this as, this is now d theta okay now d theta by dx we know this value this is minus 5 upon x squared plus 25 and we have to find the speed so this is the speed Okay, now we have to find this and we have to find this when x, the speed, distance of 50 meters, base of the plane. So this is 5 upon, so x is equal to 50 x upon 50 square this is 50 square plus 25 into dx by dt is equal to 301 this is 5 upon 25 100 plus 25 into dx by dt is equal to t by 101 so this is now dx we have to find the speed so dx by dt is the speed, so v is equal to 3 by 101 into this is now 2 pi 2 pi by 5. So this is 5 over 5 and this is 5, which gives me v is equal to 10 meter per second. So <clears throat> this was actually negative for the direction, so this is equal to negative 5. So this is v is equal to negative 15 meter per second. So that is the speed, so which is 15 meter per second. Let's move on to the next one.